welcome to my views and news three new stories first one is about a mysterious flight from an arab country to an ethiopian military base several flights arrive in ethiopia uh, from arab countries uh, passenger flights mostly cargo flights too the flights don't land at military airports at air bases we tracked similar flights in 2021 when uh, ethiopia purchased weapons from some middle from some middle eastern countries a similar flight landed uh, at harar mada airport ethiopian air base in oromia details for you secondly viewers uh, ethiopian economic crisis has hit unprecedented levels the value of bore is declining so sharply that uh, even the government is buying dollars in black market what is ethiopian bore dollar exchange rate in official market and in black market and which options does ethiopian government have can it uh, somehow uh, fill its foreign exchange reserves and thirdly viewers our uh, dear colonel gabre Uh, whose videos uh, are being shared who spoke uh, lately recently about uh, tigray amhara relationship and about uh, the war which was fought together by tplf and eplf against dogs uh, colonel gabre is known because uh, we know that he killed so many eritrean soldiers and ethiopian national defense force soldiers in his statements that uh, had all all of his statements been true entire ethiopian eritrean militaries would have been uh, finished by now uh, he is uh, known for making some big claims what is he saying about eplf tplf joint struggle he seems to be implying that it was eplf which fought in ethiopia which fought in eritrea uh, against dogs uh, eplf role was uh, not very significant what did he say about tigray amhara relationship firstly viewers it was 2020 when we did several videos based on some reports by experts experts who were monitoring uh, flights from middle eastern countries to ethiopia the flights used to land mostly at harar mada airport air base of ethiopia and these flights were carrying weapons back then if you remember ethiopia purchased combat drones wing long drones from the uae made in china but it was uh, the drones were delivered uh, through the uae then ethiopia purchased uh, iranian mohajer 6 drones not very effective in the battlefield but we saw uh, confirmation when pm abi was seen in afar with a ground control station of uh, these mohajer 6 drones and then lastly deadly turkish drones came into play uh, tb2s were bought by ethiopia tb2s were delivered from takirda karlo airport of turkey to harar mada airport of uh, ethiopian air force so back then several experts like garjon and others they uh, reported uh, frequently about these flights uh, and several videos and then we saw that in 2022 there were not uh, as many flights from these countries to harar mada why because obviously all main purchases uh, of arms were done by ethiopian government in 2021 a similar flight was attracted last night the flight uh, flew from sharjah the uae united arab emirates 
it landed on Harar Mada Airport, which is Ethiopian Air Force Base. Uh, it was flight of uh, a Kazakhstan's uh, airline. It's difficult to say what this flight was carrying, but uh, we saw similar flights in 2021. And later it was confirmed that Ethiopia had purchased uh, weapons from UAE. Some sources say that if Ethiopia wants to purchase uh, drones from Turkey, the deliveries could be through the UAE. Though in 2021, deliveries were direct, direct from uh, Takirda Karlo Airport of Turkey to Harar Mada. But uh, Turkey has been under pressure. Turkey is a member of NATO too. Tigrayans launched a worldwide movement saying that drones, Turkish drones were involved in human rights abuses, that the drones were being used against civilians. That is why this delivery of drones from Turkey to Ethiopia was a violation of human rights. So we saw a campaign against Turkey, against Turkish companies. Maybe that is why. Uh, yes, Turkish drones could be delivered to Ethiopia uh, through UAE, but it's too early to say. I don't want to jump to conclusions that Ethiopia has purchased this and that. No, only confirmation that uh, a suspicious flight, cargo flight of an airline of Kazakhstan was tracked between Sharjah and Harar Mada airport of uh, Ethiopian Air Force. Uh, Ethiopia is planning to raise a big army, we know that. Uh, PM Abi, their military commanders, they have been openly saying that they want uh, to build uh, a strong army, a modern army. Of course, modern militaries need modern weapons too, modern uh, drones too, which Ethiopia purchased. And countries try to strengthen their uh, drone uh, fleet. They try to get better drones. They try to keep the drones in good condition. So this connection between Arab world and Ethiopia, uh, security cooperation, security connection will continue. Because now Ethiopia is a buyer from Arab countries. Ethiopia is not relying on US or European countries for purchase of weapons. Now, Turkey, UAE are uh, the countries which are selling weapons to Ethiopian government. And if you remember in 2021, it was difficult to sell weapons to Ethiopia. The Grands had launched a worldwide campaign. So, Europe, uh, US, they were hesitant to uh, uh, sell any weapons to Ethiopia. Uh, in fact, they impose sanctions uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, that they suspended, uh, not direct sanctions, but they suspended direct financial budget, budgetary aid to Ethiopia. And in the two-year long war, I, I don't think that any European country uh, sold any weapons to Ethiopia. It was mainly Arab world, Arab countries, UAE, Iran, Turkey which sold uh, drones and other weapons to Ethiopian government, which played a key part in uh, giving uh, Ethiopian military a leverage on the battlefield. And we saw that Tigray forces uh, were forced to make compromises uh, in the battlefield and at the table later in 2022 in Pretoria. Secondly, it was hard times ahead for the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, PM Abi, Ethiopian economic conditions not improving uh, and uh, government is uh, faced with an unprecedented economic crisis with very limited options available for the Prime Minister of Ethiopia. Question is, what is the real value of Ethiopian currency burr? Because the BRRS official exchange rate is different from its black market exchange rate. Dollar is becoming a rare thing in Ethiopia. No dollar available. Uh, black market uh, dollar price uh, is almost double the actual price uh, in the market. 
and uh, you know that uh, official burr dollar to burr exchange rate around 50 i think 50 55 around 55 i think what is uh, dollar to burr rate in black market 110 this is the real value of burr ethiopian currency uh, has dropped by 100 percent in the last two years or so but Ethiopian government is not devaluing burr at the same time it is buying dollars from black market how can Ethiopian currency become strong or it can uh, remain uh, in a position that it is helpful for economic growth if there is so much disparity between dollars uh, black market rate and uh, official rate ethiopia has a very limited options now either it should uh, enhance its exports which cannot happen overnight it should curtail its imports which it's already doing no significant change it can try to uh, contact diaspora for more remittances again not very likely but we are seeing that diaspora amhara diaspora is openly opposing pm Abe's government it is not uh, ready to support the government rather it is trying to withdraw uh, withdraw it is trying to stop sending remittances to ethiopia and in fact some diaspora members have been in touch with international community they have been in touch with uh, members of parliament with uh, financial institutions they want this financial institution uh, that institution should not uh, approve any new loans for Ethiopian government so no signs of any significant increase in remittances for uh, Ethiopian government next option could be direct financial aid from some country not announced so far Ethiopian government trying to get this direct financial aid not happening only humanitarian aid is arriving and then option of loan under consideration after immediately after Pretoria deal we saw that uh, Ethiopian government went into talks with IMF World Bank Ethiopian government was hoping that US EU would back Ethiopian government's uh, efforts for uh, acquiring of loans of a few billion dollars from IMF World Bank loan has not been approved so far rather IMF World Bank they want uh, guarantees from other creditors so you see that options available for Ethiopian government are very limited inflation rose in the last two years unemployment increased too due to disruption in global of food supply chain we saw that uh, food prices have gone up across the world same happened in Ethiopia uh, so a country where millions are dependent on food aid is without food aid these days because food aid was suspended by IMF and World Bank a few weeks ago because aid was being stolen you see that multiple challenges for Ethiopian government uh, in terms of its uh, economic uh, progress uh, Ethiopian government is begging for a bailout package the US wants Ethiopian government to suffer US is expected to support the government but before that US wants Ethiopian government to be on its uh, knees beg for this bailout package which Ethiopian government is doing by the way uh, why government has almost no other options Russia the other camp cannot support Ethiopian government financially Chinese are very smart people businessmen I don't think they'll give uh, a few billion US dollars to Ethiopian government uh, and Ethiopia already owes to Chinese Exim Bank it means that only option available uh, is that Ethiopia should somehow convince US government that IMF World Bank should approve new loans for Ethiopia even these loans 
uh, have uh, never been helpful in any part of the country, any part of the world for economic progress. Several countries are in the grips of IMF and World Bank. But this is the short term solution which the open government is trying uh, to get. Let's see, can it happen? We'll have to wait and see. Last was Colonel Gabre's videos are being shared. Who's Colonel Gabre? Colonel Gabre was the spokesperson of Tegarai Defense Force. I remember in the first round of this war between Tegarai region and Ethiopian federal government, Eritrean government regions, Colonel Gabre used to brief us uh, about the losses suffered by ENDF and EDF. He never briefed about losses suffered by TDF and in his statements he killed millions of uh, uh, ENDF soldiers, uh, tens of thousands of uh, Ethiopian, Nash, Ethiopian Eritrean Defense Force soldiers. Then suddenly he went quiet and now he's back. Uh, a video of Colonel Gabre is being shared. The video shows him speak about uh, Tegarai Amhara relationship. And TPLF, EPLF uh, uh, war, their joint struggle against Dirks. He claims that some groups in Amhara see Tigrayans as enemies. But uh, Tigrayans have never been Amhara's enemies. Tigrayans always treat Amhara POW with respect. Tig uh, and TPLF uh, released Amhara POWs in the past. And secondly, he claimed that uh, in the war, uh, in the fight between Dirks and EPLF, TPLF, TPLF fighters, thousands of them fought in Eritrea too against Dirks. But in Ethiopia, only a few dozen EPLF uh, soldiers fought to support TPLF. So he's basically saying that uh, it was TPLF mainly which overthrew Dirks. EPLF's role was uh, not as significant as that of uh, TPLF. EPLF denies, EPLF says that it not only fought in Eritrea, but it sent its mechanized divisions uh, to Ethiopia too, which played a key role in the march towards Addis Ababa. Take a listen to a clip of Colonel Gabre's recent talk about Tigray Amhara relations and EPLF TPLF struggle against Turks. Take a watch. <laughs> ام حارات على اي ايلا ما نفيستبل حنت سكندون حواحاتن تجادا لا حواحاتن حزب ام حارات على اي ايلا يفلطن قداس نز تمارخو تخناخينو نابزل على درجه ريمو نابز يفلطو سلطان امصيو فمليسو بتشفشفو نمروخات زكناخن حزبي نمروخات زكناخن ودبي بعلو سنل بونا انا حزب تغرايون كوم يفكد كندي محارو تغادلتي اب حوحات دا تغادل انتلو بعلو تو چوكو نا محارايون بزعبا حوحات علاما دا غلص انتلو سان احنا تدغاغامي نتحسوت كنقال زي ما قالنا 